Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain how to find the equation of a tangent to a cubic function. This is lesson 3 or 5. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Determine the equation of the tangent to the function f of x is minus x squared plus 3x minus 6 at x is equal to 3. Now, in flu, the sketch of the situation, but you don't have to give me the sketch. I gave you the sketch just to explain to you what's going on here. So we are finding this equation of the tangent, it's the blue line, to the function, and it's all happening there at the point where x is equal to 3. So remember, a tangent is a straight line. Therefore, we are working towards y is equal to mx plus c. And now the question is, why are we doing this, finding the equation of the tangent in this chapter? And the reason is that when you find the derivative, the answer that you get there, you are actually working out the gradient of the tangent to the function. So we will start with the original function and then we will find the derivative and then the derivative is the gradient which is minus 2x plus 3 and where is this happening this is happening at x is equal to 3 so now we can find the true gradient there by in x's place we substitute the point x is equal to 3 and it becomes minus 2 times 3 plus 3 minus 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 3 and then the gradient is negative 3. Your next problem is you need to find the corresponding y coordinate there at the point x is equal to 3. Now on the sketch it's very clear that the corresponding y coordinate is negative 6. But in the exam, you don't have that point. You have to calculate that point. And the way you will go about finding that point is, the rule is every x has an original y value. That means into the original function f of x, you will substitute x is equal to 3 to find the corresponding y. So now, everywhere in the original equation, where there is an x, you substitute 3, and then you end with minus 9 plus 9 minus 6. Minus 9 plus 9 is nothing, and the corresponding y value at x is equal to 3 is negative 6. Then, remember, we are looking for the equation of the tangent y is mx plus c. So now we know that the gradient is negative 3 and in m's place you can substitute negative 3 and then you want to work out a value for c and this is why you need this other coordinate that you calculate it. Well it's the point 3 minus 6 because we know that point lives on the function. Therefore in y's place we substitute minus 6 and in x's place we substitute 3. Then minus 6 is equal to minus 9 plus c. Let's solve c and c's value is 3. Therefore the equation of the tangent to the function is y is equal to minus 3x plus 3. Now, in this slide, I want to explain to you that, in fact, there's a four-step plan that you can follow to find the equation of the tangent. The first thing that you will do is you will find the derivative. 
and then that is a formula for m the gradient once you know what the formula is you can work out the actual gradient at that given point by substituting in the given x then you will work out the corresponding y coordinate at that point and the last thing that you will do is you will work out c's value y is equal to mx plus c uh, that means you will work out the equation of the tangent now let's determine the equation of the tangent to the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5 at x is equal to 2 and let's follow the four point plan first of all there is the sketch of what's going on it's a parabola and at x is equal to 2 there you will find the tangent so we will work out the equation of the tangent which is a straight line and we are working towards y is mx plus c the first thing that we will do is we will take the original function and we will find the derivative because that means we will find the gradient a little formula for the gradient equals 2x minus 6. now this little formula for the gradient is the general formula for any tangent to that function but our tangent is at a specific point and it's at the point x is equal to 2 so in x's place we will substitute 2 at that given point 2 times 2 minus 6 4 minus 6 m is negative 2 so at that point the gradient is negative 2 the next thing that we will work out is the corresponding y coordinate at the point x is equal to 2 and we will go about doing that by taking the original function and every x has a corresponding y so in x's place we will substitute 2 the given point and 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 5 4 minus 12 plus 5 and the corresponding y value is negative 3 so the point is the point 2 negative 3 and if you go to the sketch it looks as if we write there what are we working out we are finding the equation of the tangent y is mx plus c in m's place we worked out the gradient was negative 2 x plus c and now to find c's value we will take this point that we calculated the coordinate 2 minus 3 in y's place we substitute minus 3 in x's place we substitute 2 to find c therefore minus 3 equals minus 4 plus c let's solve c the 4 walks across and c's value is 1 therefore the equation of the tangent to this function is y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. Now you know how to find the equation of a tangent to a cubic function. In the next lesson, I will explain more complicated examples on how to find the equation of a tangent to a cubic function. Click on the video in the right hand corner to take you straight to that lesson.